Good morning. We're continuing to look at the last couple of letter statements in Hebrews, and it says in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 28, Therefore, since we're receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful and worship God acceptably. The writer of the Hebrews says, Since we're receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful. Brothers and sisters, there's so much to be thankful for for us as believers. But one of the things we're to be thankful for is that we're receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. You know, everything in this world shakes, doesn't it? Our lives can be shaken. Our bodies can be shaken. Our minds can be shaken. Our families can be shaken. Our politics and our nations certainly shake. Nations shake to pieces. In the end, this whole world will be shaken before the end, before Jesus comes again. The whole world itself will be shaken and shaken like never before. But the writer of the Hebrews says, brothers and sisters, in the midst of all these terrible calamities that are coming, let us be thankful that we're receiving a kingdom that doesn't move an inch. It's absolutely solid. It's founded on the promises of our God and what he builds lasts forever. It's an eternal kingdom that cannot be shaken. There'll be no rebellions, no uprisings, no contest for the throne. This is the kingdom of God with the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus himself on the throne. Let us be thankful and grateful that the place we're headed to, the place we are definitely, certainly headed to, that is coming to us and that we are going towards, is a kingdom that is totally at peace, totally secure, a happy, happy future for us who put our trust in Jesus and keep going and follow him to the end. Brothers and sisters, let us be thankful. Let us be grateful to God for giving us not just a wonderful house to live in in this world. Not just, it's not like someone just leaving you a, a massive mansion with some wonderful gardens because nothing in this world lasts and nothing in this world is secure but the mansion that Jesus is making for you will last and it will be beautiful beyond description and last forever. Brothers and sisters, we're receiving as a gift eternal life and what a life it will be with a kingdom that cannot be shaken for there's no one to shake it. It's the opposite of this world that is always shaking, shifting, crumbling, getting rebuilt and destroyed again. This kingdom is an eternal kingdom. Let us be really thankful, brothers and sisters, today, because it's true. This is our actual future. It's real. Let us be really grateful and thankful and worship God because of it. Father in heaven, we thank you that our future is so secure. We thank you that Jesus has already gone ahead of us to build us a place to live. And thank you that when he's prepared that place, he will come again and take us to be with him so that we also may we be where he is. Thank you, Jesus, for building a new Jerusalem that's coming down out of heaven from God. Thank you that it'll be a new earth and that we'll live with you in a new heaven and a new earth at the resurrection. Thank you for all these gifts given to us as we've believed in you and received your gift of salvation. Thank you, Jesus, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Amen.